debut tonight, and I'm thrilled to have him here. He's just wonderful. He's a regular performer at the comic strip in New York City, and he's been in C he'll be seen in HBO's Uptown Comedy Express and in the new Beverly Hills Cop 2, premiering May 19th. Will you please welcome Chris Rock? What's up? Hey. I, tell you. I was driving down the street, saw a prostitute, asked her how much. She said, $300, I'll do anything you want. I said, bitch, paint my house. <laughs> I'm 21, I live at home, I gotta move out. I have to move out. Because everybody in my neighborhood, nobody ever moves out. I have friends that are 28 years old and live at home. Uh, this is pathetic. There's nothing more pathetic than a 28-year-old man that lives at home. Only one thing, and that's any woman willing to sneak into his room. <laughs> so once you pay taxes, you, sh you shouldn't have to tiptoe past anybody. And I live at home, and my mother likes to clean up my room. And whenever my mother cleans up my room, she always takes out all my dirty magazines. And whenever your mother takes your dirty magazines, you can't say anything about it. If she don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. <laughs> you had to play it off like they were never there in the first place. And you're sitting there eating breakfast, eating breakfast with your mother and there's like that tension at the breakfast table because you're not like her little baby anymore. You're like some pervert she's giving birth to. <laughs> so you try to strike up any kind of conversation, you know, like, Ma, have you seen my baseball glove? My mother goes, well, maybe you left it in the penthouse. <laughs> Sometimes you don't find out until it's like too late. It's like three o'clock in the morning, you need your book before you go to bed, right? <laughs> you're looking around, so you have to search the whole house for any picture with a woman on it. <laughs> and finally, you settle for Aunt Jemima. <laughs> it was cable, y'all see how dirty that joke really is, okay? <laughs> oh, man, so I just got to the hospital, I had a seizure. I was making a sandwich at the time, so I stabbed my mother and four brothers. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even know I had epilepsy until I heard Run DMC. As <laughs> soon as the music came on, I had to stab somebody. <laughs> you ever see Run DMC? Yo, man, we don't provoke violence. Yo, man, no matter what Run DMC sings, there's gonna be a fight. They can be doing Barry Manilow songs, and there'll be, be a riot, okay? They come out there, I write songs that make the whole world sing. Ma, 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 Mandy, and you came and you gave, and I told you, what's up, you deaf? Finished too soon? No, they, the band didn't finish too fast? You know, they told me you were gonna come over to me. All right, so said, no. go stand over there, we'll do it again. <laughs> it's, that's live television. <laughs> You're very funny. Well, thank you very much. What did you do before? You're 20 years old. What did you do before comedy? Boy, I, McDonald's for a little while. You worked or you ate? I worked. I worked there for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you ever go to, like, McDonald's and you get online? There's, uh, there's always a guy in front of you that doesn't have enough money to get anything. He's got, like, 40 cents and he's trying to make a deal. So, like, <laughs> like, yo, check this out, homeboy. Check this out, man. I got 40 cents, man. I got 40 cents. Yo, McNuggets is $1.49. Why don't you let me get one McNugget? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Eddie Murphy, did he find you or just has helped you? Or Eddie, now, they always talk about how... Eddie helped me. What yeah. about the help I did for Eddie, okay? <laughs> I'm a fool, Chris, of course, of course. Red leather, my idea, okay? <laughs> you know, his name, Eddie, he wanted to call himself Slappy Murphy, you know? <laughs> I did that, no. Eddie found me. Eddie saw me at the comic strip in New York. And it's been great ever since. And I mean, he flew me out here, first class. I mean, uh. hooked me up with all the right people. 
I mean, I mean, who if I didn't know Eddie Murphy, I'd be in Brooklyn right now and ranking on somebody rather than doing a <laughs> show. Like, Your mother's butt so big when she bend over, they show movies on it. You know. <laughs> Said out there that you 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 live at in the in the routine. You said that you live at home. Do you live at home? Yes, yes. Um, That's great. You should at twenty. Yeah, but I gotta get out of there. I'm, I did the movie. I, I did HBO. I get a lot of important calls. I'm like my father picks up the phone downstairs in between calls. I'm like I could be talking to a director. I'm like, Chris, could you be in Hawaii next week? I don't know. I'm gonna have to get to my agent. My father picks up the phone. Hey, boy, your poking beans are ready. <laughs> Did you like being in the movies? Yes, yeah, it was, it's great, it was isn't fun. it? It was fun working with Eddie, man. He's so good. He's so so. This is like a dream. You don't know. You don't know how much this is like unreal to me right now. So. Now we are 20 years old. I want you to remember this when you're 40. Don't let it go to your head because you're very talented. Stay good. Thank you. We'll be right back with a very special surprise. With a very special friend at this lesson. It's such a pleasure.